When his subjects show up at a shoot in Atlanta, photographer Francois Brunel Excellent. sometimes does a double take. Oh, oh my oh, God, look at that. Oh, hey. hey, finally. Charlie. Hi, Good who are you? Charlie. Charlie, I know you are my Charlie. No, really? <laughs> well, <laughs> OK, excellent. Brunel is shooting a series of photographs on doppelgangers. His subjects are not twins. Charlie Chasen and Michael Malone are not even related. Our mothers don't see the resemblance. <laughs> and when I met Charlie, I didn't see the resemblance either. Christy Walker and Stephanie Kazar aren't either. It's very rare that you find your own twin, especially living, I mean, she's originally from Ohio and I'm from Georgia. As is, with a big smile. Lindsay Sampson yes. and Ayanna Bryant didn't closer, meet please. till they okay. shared a room in college. The day I moved in, she walked into the dorm and my mom was like, oh my God, <laughs> she's your twin. <laughs> Y'all do look a lot alike. You can drive yourself mad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm already mad, so that's fine. <laughs> the mad Canadian. Yeah. The 64-year-old photographer had the idea for the project after someone said he looked like the actor Rowan Atkinson's character, Mr. Bean. He didn't see the resemblance at first. Because until that moment, I thought I was a little bit like Mr. Dean. Mr. Dean. James not, Dean. Yeah, not Mr. Bean. Like then... He had a dream. I find two identical people, I'll bring them together, and then when they meet, they will, they'll, they will be in shock, you know? And then I will take a picture of that, and then that will be amazing to look at this picture. That was my dream, you know? How long have you been doing this now? Uh, 14 years. His first subjects, Canadians, he brought to his home studio in Montreal. They look at least like they should be brother and sister, but they're actually a couple? They're a couple, yeah. These girls were born on the same day. They were born on the same the day. Same day. Her, her father is uh, Hungarian, I guess, and her mother may be Canadian, and her father is from India. Then, word about Brunel's project began to spread over the internet. These are all emails from people? Yeah, well, these are emails just from uh, Canada, United States, yes, but people, this is South America, mm -hmm. this is Europe. They've come from all over the world. Mm -hmm. New Zealand here, uh, Serbia. It's such a simple idea, but it's strangely powerful. Yeah, and it's a total mystery to me. I'm still amazed. I receive e emails every day. I just received one today, and uh, see people still, you know, they, they still are fascinated by the idea. Have you found that people have a longing to have a, a double? Some people, yes. I get lots of email, and uh, you won't believe me, but from China, people asking me to find their, their look-alike because they have one, uh, one child family. Mm -hmm. They don't have siblings, they don't have brothers and sisters. He remembers uh, one in particular. She says, dear Monsieur Brunel, I saw your project, and uh, would you please find my look-alike so I feel less alone? People want some kind of a connection. Yes, absolutely. The government of Colombia in South America commissioned Brunel to shoot an advertising campaign to promote harmony. They found lookalikes who often were meeting for the first time during the shoot. The tagline of the campaign, let's choose to see what we have in common. <laughs> Studies have shown that unrelated people who look alike have no greater emotional connection than those who don't. But don't tell that to Ayanna Bryant. No kissing, no hugging. And Lindsay Sampson. It's from the moment we met. I know, I just, I really think that she was the yin to my yang. Like, it's just really crazy. We are just so much alike. We're kind of the only two people that can tolerate each other for, for long, long periods, periods of time. time. That's good. Or to Charlie Chasen and Michael Malone. I just think we really were just kind of meant to be friends. I feel like we'll be friends forever, right? But at the same time, we'll, we'll be in a, a book where we're there forever. So they're the same and the opposite at the same time. Francois Brunel's project is supposed to end with the book he plans to publish. If I would go and photograph everyone that, uh, that has written me, I would travel for years. But I want to photograph them all. That's the problem with me. So for now, the photographer continues to remind us how much alike we all really are.